So Burt Reynolds has been very vocal about his hatred for his cult classic film, Boogie Nights. Mm, what's the band why, talking about? Why does about? he hate it? A lot of us love it. I thought it was a great movie. I loved it. We I all remember being that. very sad about that movie. I don't I don't think it, I liked it, it either, it, Bert. It was a very sad movie. In fact, he hated working on that movie so much that he admitted that he has never seen the film. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, and in a recent interview with GQ, he says he would never work with the film's director, Paul Thomas Anderson, ever again. Really? Yeah. That, that, th those are strong words right there. Yeah. That's r quite the negative reaction. Have you ever done something that you hated the experience so much you didn't even want to see it? No. I, I still want to see it. Yeah. I make sure. That was just, sure I look good. There yeah. was this girl I met about three or four months ago. I did that. Never want to see her again. <laughs> <laughs> but Bert's not the only actor to film a huge movie and then rip on it. Oh. George Clooney, he starred as Batman in Batman and Robin. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see that one. Which has been called the worst Batman film ever. He said in hindsight that he sees that the movie was really crappy and that he was really bad in it. Oh, really? George. Yeah. George, you were fine, George. In fact, George keeps a picture of himself as Batman in his office as a reminder of what could happen if you just film a movie solely for commercial purposes. Huh. That's why I keep pic pictures of myself around the office. I yeah. just keep a picture of me as Batman just because it's badass. <laughs> <laughs> so Channing Tatum, he starred in G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra, and he told Howard Stern that he, and I quote, hated the movie. Ooh. Whoa. And he said he only did it because Paramount, they made him do it. He had a contract, and they said, you got to do it. So he said, I'll do it because I'm really nice. Man, that must be really <laughs> tough to know something sucks, but you got to do it anyway. Now, uh, Catherine Heigl, she catapulted to stardom after she was in Judd Apatow's uh, Knocked Up, but later accused the film of being sexist. She said, it paints the women as shrews while the men look lovable, which made it hard for her to love the movie. No, Shut it up. painted her as a shrew. Yeah, that it was, painted her as she is. That was art imitating life. <laughs> I love Knocked Up. That movie was hilarious. Well, because you're a sexist. Yeah, but, but it was well done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, when Halle Berry accepted her Razzie Award for her role as Catwoman, she said, I want to thank Warner Brothers for casting me in this piece of not awful movie. You know what? Props to Halle Berry. <laughs> yeah, right? The Razzie Awards are given out for the worst movies and the worst acting of the year, and she actually showed up, showed up to and get her award, yeah. and actors don't normally do that. Go with it. It's, so I appreciate her candor. It's easy to do that when you've won an Oscar. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She had a good sense of humor about it. I'll never understand, though, why actors rip on things that paid them you know, and made them a little more notable. It's like Megan Fox when she ripped into Michael Bay for Transformers. It's like, just shut up. So. That's not really fair because they're complaining about their jobs. People all across the country complain about their jobs. Yeah, they do. And that's, they're just complaining about work like we all do sitting around the water cooler. Yeah, but we're not yeah, all... You should hear what J.C. has to say about Dish Nation. Oh, oh my God. We oh, could never put that stuff on the air. Scandalous. She yeah. wouldn't even have a job. What? It's all him. The rest of us never complain. Never. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hate? Oh, uh, doing the Walk of Shame past church on Sunday morning? No. I hate that some people haven't subscribed to our channel. What are you waiting for? You know, I'm not going to beg you. I'm not gonna do it. Please subscribe. Please. <laughs>